Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to... Actually, you know what? It's a new year. It's 2023. I think it's time for a new upgrade. Hey everybody, is that clear? Yes. Okay, good. So yes, we are upgrading to a new graphics card. So yes. Well, actually, it's not a graphics card. It's a capture card. So yes, you're going to be seeing my Let's Play videos on Switch. going to be a lot more clearer now. So, anyway, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we became friends with Wordeer and got the Mime Plate from him as a token of thanks. We also got to play the Celestica Flute and we can now call on him to our assistance. And we also made it here to the Grand Tree Arena, faced off against Leon and his Gumi. We also faced off against Arida and her Glaceon. Anyway, in this episode, we are actually going to go to the Grand Tree Arena and go fight Cleavor, the Lord of the Woods. Just getting my team ready before we go out. And I think we're ready. So let's go talk to Leon again. Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. As am I. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Though this isn't yet the time of ceremony, we prepare an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Ray. Keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. So here we go. We have entered the tree. And there he is. Yes, that's the power we're going to be facing. So here we go. Our first noble boss. Cleavor, the Lord of the Woods. So yes, our first noble battle. Oh, sorry. To claim victory against the noble, quell his frenzy, to throw bombs at it until its g n frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in its defenses, you'll be able to send it your Pokemon to battle against it. And if you win that battle, the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time, and during that window, bombs will be more effective. So throw as many as you can. Yeah, it's easy to kind of time his attacks. Oh, already? I think after one attack, he left his guard down. Here's your chance, so cleave for your power. Stealth Rock! So yeah, Stealth Rock doesn't work the same as it does in the original games, where it now creates splinters and will damage you every turn. Anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and use Thunder Fang! Actually, no. Uh, no, Quick Attack won't be very effective, so yeah, Thunder Fang! Oh, you're kidding me. Ouch. Well. Already, and I haven't damaged him once. Okay, let's swap in. Let's go, Sylveon! He's only level 18, jeez. Right, let's go, Fairy Wind! I should probably keep it up like this, that way you can actually see his health. Okay. Let's go baby doll eyes. Maybe that'll give me a better advantage. And this move always goes first. Okay, Cleaver's offensive stats were lowered. Now, let's attack with Fairy Wind again. Aerial Ace. And a critical hit, too. Stealth Rock. Sylveon's getting hurt by the Splinters. Okay, won the battle. Now's my chance. Throw the bombs like crazy. Usually you can only get like five in at least. Okay. 
Watch out when his eyes glow, that means he's about to hit you. Although you can kind of get some, like, coverage from him when you hide behind the tree. And look out! Oh, now he's able to do a whirlwind attack. I think he will usually do that whirlwind attack if you get too close. Whereas he does like the charge attack axe moves when you're like farther away from him. Like that. So yeah, as long as you watch him carefully and watch his, when his eyes glow, then you'll be able to predict when he's about to attack. Uh oh. He's down to half, so now he's kind of changing the tactics. And it's getting faster. Remember, you're always being targeted during this, so you cannot heal if he hits you. That was close. Bring it on, Cleaver. That was close. Okay. Oh. Send me in. Because I know actually Cleaver is actually a bug and rock type. Oh, aerial ice. Ow. Let's get in some water pulse. There we go. Oh, air slash. Ugh. Dang, you're tough, Cleavor. But not tough enough. Speed gear! There you go, Ray. Now's your chance. Throw some bombs. Back out of it. Uh, watch out. Almost there. But don't let your guard down. That, that, that. Final bomb throw. Bam. And with that, we have quelled the frenzy of Cleavor, the Lord of the Woods. Or as I like to call him, Ancient Scyther. Or practically Ancient Scizor. Thank you for quelling my frenzy. As a reward, I shall give you this. Got the insect plate. So just like with Wordier, we get the Mind Plate, whereas since Cleavor is a bug type, we get this. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type for Arceus. So now we have two of the plates. Which means we only have 16 more to go. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's friends and mine truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? I don't know. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know strange lightning came out from out of the space time rep the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space time rift? If all mine of Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, and the strange lightning, it indeed was all mine of Sinnoh's power? Then, then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Ray accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could sell this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Mm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly and composed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. 
Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Now, three citrus berries. A berry that can be fed to a Pokemon restore its HP by up to half its max. You can also throw this berry to draw their attention. Yeah, yeah. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. I appreciate him for fighting on our behalf. So she heals my Pokemon up. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. Yeah, it seems we sell things here, though, between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. Of course you wouldn't. So, quelled the frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Time to report to the commander. So that I've accomplished my mission. So you caught four Pokemon. Oh yeah, those are four of the Pokemon I caught from the last episode. It's more money. <laughs> oh, it seems like we made some observations. Let's see. Oshawa is now complete. Zubat is complete. Burmy is seven. Sylveon is complete. Scyther is two. And yet, no points for anything about Cleavor. Hmm. You quelled Lord Cleavor, you say? Oh, well done, and bravo, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to the commander. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are two of the fable plates of old. Please, let me have a look. Well, apparently he knows something I don't. I see, there are some letters carved into them. Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. Seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How'd you come across these? When I got, became friends with the nobles, they gave them to me. I see. So you were given the plates when you impressed Wordier and Cleavor? That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across the Sui. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing! Mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. She really does, oh, he really does sound like Cynthia in this case. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Anyway. It is now time to go see the commander. How goes the surveying? We're getting along great here, as you can tell. Wait, what's happening to Butisha? It's evolved! If Butisha evolved, Violet's become so cool. No, I knew it. He's, an, he's gonna be an idiot and rain is into a cascoon. Just a little longer and it'll blossom into Beautifly. You could do it, Butisha. I'm pretty sure I'm a Cascoon that's gonna evolve into a Dustox, actually. <gasps> oh well. We'll deal with that another time. Before we go talk to Commander, let's get some more side quests on here. Peculiar Ponyta. Now, I believe that pony to side quest is actually a very uh, interesting one because I believe that's the one side quest that can get you like a free shiny Pokemon. Because when it talks about a particular pony to, it means one of a different color. Like, I believe the shiny pony to is blue rather than orange. Like a blue flame. Anyway. Hmm. Well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not yet settled. I see word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in Hisui. I actually believe four more, to be exact. So carry on with your research and survey duties, and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. Dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower, so go and join them. Alright, that's another story mission complete. 
We have quelled the frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Hello, Benny. The usual order. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have to come back unharmed after facing off against that Cleavor. I dare say, Ray was well prepared. He was for a quick sturdy of how Cleavor moved in battle, from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our Survey Corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. We've crafted some smoke bombs from scratch, one caster fern leaf, and one soot foot root. Now, I believe smoke bombs are used to, like, create, like, mist so that it makes Pokemon harder or to see you. Lovely. And now that we need not worry about being mauled by Cleavor, either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that called the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Meanwhile. Ray? I've been waiting for you, Ray. Okay, that's a little creepy. My name is Bessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Okay, just strange girl out of nowhere decides to come talk to me. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Isui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But for now, some unknown, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please right hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Just tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Not an odd keystone. So yes, many of you might recognize this actual stone, and this you, and this odd keystone is actually in uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl to summon a certain Pokemon. So just only can collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across the Sui. 107 of them in total. That's a lot of spirits. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. Gotta catch them all! See, the whisper normally invisible, but not to the holder of the keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? And it's right over there. See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Wouldn't that just burn my fingers? Yeah, anyway, she just tells us to go touch a weird floating purple flame out of nowhere. So yes. You'll want to be looking for these all across the Sui. There's not just in the village. They're in, like, Obsidian Fieldlands and all the other regions. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Touch. <laughs> it just goes into me. Like it's possessed me or something. That's very creepy. The Wisp has been absorbed into the Odd Keystone, just as it should have been. Oh, I thought I've got this order to me. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing. As you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. So this is another side quest. Eerie apparitions in the night. So yeah, once you collect all 107 of these uh, eerie wisps, Kind of like how you defeat a certain, like a hundred, or do something with a hundred and seven something, I forget what it is, in Diamond and Pearl. You will be able to use that keystone to summon Spiritomb, a dark and ghost Pokemon. Anyway, the next day. So now that Cleavor has been quelled of his frenzy, what is it that we're going to do next? Wow! Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, c 
cutting edge? Ha. Cutting edge, because he used scissors. Oh, hey, you're Ray, the boy who quote Cleavor, aren't you? Who's to say? Heh, you can't fool me. You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quote one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm Arizu, by the way. And most of you might recognize her. She is the ancestor of Mars, of t one of the Team Galactic Commanders. I'm a Warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snap. <laughs> Instead of oh, snap. But I came here to talk to you, Mr. Kamado. See you around. Arizu's predicament. I guess I'm gonna need to go follow her. Oh yeah, also this appears after you beat Cleavor. This is the uh, Ginto Guild, which is what Volo's a part of. So, yeah, we have this girl who's Ser uh, Tuli, who sells some things to you. Like, yeah, it sells you items that you don't find at the general store, like berries and leeks and stuff like that. Whereas uh, their leader, Ginter here, who is actually another ancestor. He sells you rare items you won't find anywhere else. And I believe he's the ancestor of uh, Voltner, the electric gym leader from uh, Sunny Shore City in Diamond and Pearl. Hi there. We got some great stock at the moment. Here's all the goods I got right now. Anything catch your eye? Pineapple berries, smoke bombs, honey cakes, I'm good for now. Not buying, eh? Well, that's too bad. It would be a shame my stock were to get snatched up by someone else. Well, they can have it, because <laughs> I don't want it. Anyway, let me see here. I don't know if I have enough wood. Because I meant to give the wood to uh, this guy over here to create the doll. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, yes, I can make the Pokeshi doll. Alright, now let's go ahead and show it to him. Hmm, what's this? Well, that's a Pokeshi doll if I ever saw one. Please have a closer look. Amazing! Just look how smoothly you carve these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors. You've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over, yet it stubbornly remains upright. You. Thank you. I'm saving your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll is a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made! I took her gear and crafting ads. Have a look. Of course, your award is a Pokeshi doll, <laughs> which is not all that great. So yeah, I believe there's going to be a, a few more people around here that have side quests as well. Because usually after you, like, clear some more story quests, more side quests get unlocked. Like this one guy over here. Yeah, there's a lot of them in the village now. Yeah, Miller here. Hey, the circuit court's ancient. Fellers look for... We're in these fields to make it for the bigger. But the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for some... I'm going to let me hand. Okay, so if you have a ground-type Pokemon, could I borrow it? So yeah, so he just wants a ground-type Pokemon. Okay, so the only ground types I have are Geodudes, who are ground and rock types. I'll give him this one. Yes, give it up. Your Pokemon should be a big help and expand the fields. Might as well get started. And with that, we now have bigger fields. What a trooper. So yes, now we have two fields. That was some fine work, and Crops play here, and that's all thanks to you two. Feel a little longer. And there we go. More fields available for farming. So yes, you get other things besides just items for clearing side quests. So like sometimes new things will be unlocked in the village. Okay, we're done gathering the harvest. Two med only two medicine? Oh, two bugwort blooms. Vivid chokes, type of plants. Okay, so I thought it was just the leeks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can also do the vegetable and the mushroom harvest now. 
Uh, but I don't think, really find those useful, so... Let's see. I think I'll go back to the Apricorn Harvest. So yeah, I think the next story side quest is inside the Galaxy Hall. I'm gonna go talk to a few more of the people around here. And some target practice. Oh yeah, this is the balloon race guy. Aim for the big leagues. Except that was not more of a balloon race. It's more just like a shooting gallery. You know, this girl. Fetch a plant for me to make some medicine. Try asking Annie's from the medical corps. She'll point you in the right direction. Search for bitter leaves. Asking about the near materials you need to make medicine. And then there's some kids over here that have a side quest as well. That guy by the, uh... By the... With the ranches. Oh, hey, survey guy. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? Be super brave. Nope. nope! I mean, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner Pokemon. With a partner, you can be as strong as 100 people. So I'm gonna catch a Pokemon own. So I've been throwing the balls the game is spot on. I think I'm ready to practice. You know, there's loads of survey course, and I think it's, give us just five of your Pokeballs. What it takes to be awesome. Be a Joshua, that's what. <laughs> okay, give me five Pokeballs. I got plenty, so here you go. Woohoo, now I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a reward. Some grit dust. Thanks. Precious loads. I'll find my own Pokemon. And then this guy over here, Bellamy. Oh my, you. You, know, you remind me of my grandmother. She's always friendly with your Pokemon. Just you seem to be. Let's say Aura, become friends. Interesting to see how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I'll become show me sometime. Measuring your compatibility, yeah. I think this guy measures how friendly you are with your Pokemon. Okay, how friendly am I with Joshua here? Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You have a true friend here, I can tell. My grandmother was especially like you, the type of person who could understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, being a knack. Pokemon you are. If you'd like to, can come and show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you anytime. Ooh, and it gives you a rare candy. So yeah, rare candies are used to just raise your Pokemon instantly by one level. And since it's pretty easy to level up your Pokemon this early in the game, I don't really use them this early. I usually save them for when they get like into the 40s and such. So for now, we're going to put back the Dazzling Honeys. I want to move some of my items. Alright. So now some of these people up here have side quests, like uh, Antha here. Suppose you're wearing your first game of the village, kind of sort of shock they gave me, and I'm sticking your passion for fashion, aren't you? Not really. <laughs> if that's the case, we just study fashion together. I'm sure your interest will grow in no time. No, it won't. We told the Hippopotus, which can be found around the Crimson Mirelands, have different appearances based on their gender. I want to compare them. So she wants me to show me a male and a female Hippopotus, which we can get in the next area. Alright, and then Choi here. And also, I was wrong. He's not the Ancestor of Lucian, even though he kind of reminds me of it. He's actually an uh, ancestor to another member of Team Galactic. You there, value customer? Wouldn't you rather have more wars to choose from? It'd be nice. Unfortunately, Tahua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say. Persuade him for me. Sure, bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks, I'll do it. I'll make it three just to be safe. <laughs> okay, so he wants to bring him hearty grains, even though we don't. I don't think we can get hearty grains until we actually go to the Crimson Islands. Because that's where you find them. So now we're going to go back to the commander and see what else he has to say. Hmm, so it's come to Ursaluna as well. It suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I've received no word from Adamant or Rida. This is not something I can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Mr. Rizu. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the Galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress, Mistress Caliba, of the Pearl Clan, is it not? 
Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded. <clears throat> Bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders, meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Ray. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Ireland's. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. The next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those of the Obsidian Fieldlands. Yeah, they get more fearsome as you go throughout the game. Even the landscape itself is harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs, it's not welcoming. At your current rate, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. The destination is a place within the Mirelands known as the Celestion Ruins. That is where you will find Ursaluna's Warden, Calaba. Alright, so we're going to be heading to a new area. But before we do, I guess I can go ahead and talk to this guy. Maybe just like two more spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just threatening me. Alright, I want to take a look at my items again one more time. Let me see here. And then I want to go ahead and sell the Stardust, because I know Stardust is a thing you can sell. Uh, yeah. Press the ZR button to switch to selling things. I don't want to sell anything else. Definitely don't want to sell the Seed of Mastery. So, yeah, I think that's going to be all for now. And I also want to save my Seeds of Mastery. But anyway, we have another side quest here. Some incredible... Come again. A will of a wisp A ball of bright red fire. I was walking on the windswept run the other night, it lead to me like Had a game with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. <gasps> oh for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that willow wisp with my own two eyes. Oh yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Ha, <laughs> good luck with that. So frustrating it won't believe me. I also did see one. You're the servant cores, I hear by the prodigy, you could catch it. The mysterious Will o' the Wisp. So she says red one, so this is not one that's like for Spiritomb, for the Keystone. But anyway, I also want to put it back a few more things. There we go. Oh yeah, also Akari's back. <laughs> oh, hello, Ray. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are, it must be a sign. You're right. Let's have a fine battle so I can go closer with Pikachu. Alright, so we're gonna have another battle with Akari before we can go to the Crimson Mirelands. So this is the second battle with Akari. And this time she brings out Mime Jr. Bring it on. Zen Headbutt. Ha! Think you can hit me with that? Think again. Aqua Jet! Aerial Ace! Alright, and then comes Pikachu. Quick Attack. I'm actually quite surprised it didn't use an Electric Boot. Oh no, Power Gear! Thunder Shock! Oh! I couldn't take it! Dang, that Pikachu is way too quick. Go Sylveon, the fairy Pokemon master. Baby doll eyes. Fairy wind. B gear. Quick that. Thunder wave. Oh, now Sylveon's paralyzed. All right, I defeated Kari for the second time. Battle decided. Oops. I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. P 
Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Stealth sprays. Requires a hoppleberry and three bugwort blooms. So stealth spray is used to muffle your footsteps so that Pokemon don't hear you as easily. So I've been working on studying the strange space-time distortions. Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you plan to go into one, be careful. Now, time to head to the Myerlands camp. Oh, she's already held by Pokemon. Okay. Well, thanks for having your Pikachu kill me with its Power Gear Thundershock. Anyway, let's go ahead and head to the Myerlands camp. We're going to be heading to a new area. So here we go. Area 2, Crimson Myerlands. Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Myerlands, an area teeming with poison-wheeling Pokemon, and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Ray. If you're looking for the Celestion Ruins, they're off that way. So a little cave just up ahead. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. Should be any of my map could tell me. Oh yeah, this gets unlocked when you enter Area 2. Space-time distortions are dangerous places for powerful Pokemon appear, at least up to the level 50s. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find some rare Pokemon, as well as items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best as you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well. While Pokemon are giving you trouble, so let's just go in the training crowds and have a Captain Sisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Alright, so we gotta head to the Celestion Ruins, which are just over there. Oh yeah, this woman also has a side quest. Hey there, you're that go-getter from the survey course, right? I have a quest for you if you got some time. I'd love to know about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has these gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I've come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from far isn't enough for me anymore. Complete Roselia's Pokedex page. A beautiful rose. One head is red, one hand is blue. I can't come up with a good rhyme right now. So that's... Oh, boo-hoo. Ah, that's the best one I can think of. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It's just a tiny tip. So anyway, heading into the Crimson Myelands for the first time, we're going to be seeing quite a few new Pokemon species. So right there is one. That is uh, Badoo which is the unevolved form of Roselia. So let's go ahead and get some Pokeballs out. Now, I believe Badoo are kind of uh, subtle. Okay. We can also get these now. These are uh, hardy greens. Oh, dang it, it escaped. Okay, go. So since these are grass types, I might want to switch my dust ox. Actually, no, maybe ponies though. Hello there. How are you doing? That was weird, like disappear for a second, probably because of the stupid tree. Nope. And it tries to run away. Dang, first area. I'm, first new Pokemon in this area, I'm already sucking at trying to catch them. You didn't see anything. Trying for the third time. Boom! Finally! Okay, caught up a deal for the first time. Ooh, I think I see a Parasect over there. And this one's not an Alpha. Yes! Dang, this one's all 25. Oh, we have a shaking tree. Let's see what's up here. A Burmy, but this one has a different cloak. So this one has a sand cloak. Let's go, Ember. 
You struggle mod. And there we go. Although I believe there's another mission where if you uh, uh, where you'll find this trio back at the village that are arguing about Burmese cloak. And I think you had to bring it one of each type of uh, cloak. One leafy, one sandy, and one other type of cloak. Yeah, there's another parasect over here. Looks like it spotted me. Or just hurt me. And since parasect is a grass and bug, that means fire is going to do four times the damage. So let's hit it with flame wheel! Take that. You can also see there's also some Psyducks here, too. Because there's also some familiar Pokemon that live in these areas. So anyway, now we're gonna head across this bridge. And there's another new species up ahead. That's a Carnivine. Okay, this one's only level 20, so maybe I might get a better chance with it. Boom! Yes! Okay, caught it. That's another new species caught. Some Psydex and Cricketunes over there. Let's see, what else is around here? More Psydex. Nothing else really worth a note. So I guess now let's go ahead and head into the ruins. Looks like that's her up ahead. So there's Caliba. And Caliba is also another ancestor. I believe she's the ancestor of uh, Mina, the fairy painter from Pokemon Sun and Moon. I'm Caliba of the Pearl Clan. Warning Caliba to you. Oh, now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you. You quote Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions. But I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. You run about catching Pokemon above those little balls you carry. I don't need any help of your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady Arizu offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Ah, Ray. How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. So all of a sudden, Bolo wants to battle me again. So here we go. No holding back. She sends out her Togepi again. Oh, right, his Togepi, sorry. He's getting confused with Cynthia. All right, let's go Luxio. Quick attack. And his Togepi's gotten a lot stronger. Oh, Draining Kiss. That's a move that allows it to heal. Go, Thunder Fang! Oh, Vola called him back. He sends out Gibble. Ooh, Ground Dragon. Luckily, it knows Ice Fang. Well, Volt knows Ice Fang. It's ultra effective! Yeah, take that. Now he's gonna bring back the Togepi. Yeah, this also might be a reference to the fact that, uh, since Cynthia is a Garchomp, so Volo has a Gibble to start out with. I think that's kind of funny. There we go. Using just Luxio, I've defeated Volo again. Battle decided. 
how you won is a mystery. Oh my, you're quite adept at instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. Ooh, I learned a new move. Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well, now I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. Your skill should be a cinch. Wait, stolen? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Celestion ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Gill merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I'd like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Caliba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, <laughs> it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Yeah, she actually is 99 years old, believe it or not. Well, that just shows why she's in such a sad state. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment of the warden? I'll naturally I'll be happy to lend you a hand. The sister swipes my wares too. And I'm no Ginkgo Guild merchant if I take that line down. And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myerlands camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Track down the bandits. So anyway, talking about the misfortunes. So yes, they're kind of like the evil team in this game. Well, sort of. They're just a team of three. Although, what is kind of funny about that is they are actually ancestors of uh, more Pokemon people in, from the past. I'm not going to spoil who they are, which ones they are just yet. Ooh, space Time Distortion seems to be for me. Yeah, I actually just tell you on the map where it spawns. So, that right there is going to be where it spawns, but... We don't really have access to that area yet. Mostly because it's pretty far away and we can't really get around much. Oh, another Paris. Let's go, Rapidash. Spit a fireball at it. One of the reasons why I called it Spitfire. Get a bug war. Well, it seems like the bandits are just up there. Let me check something, because I feel like I got a new move. Hmm, sword stance would be pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Do sword stance or replace aqua jet with that. That way I can get my attack up. All oh, right. That. Oh, I think a stupid Paris spotted me. Yep. You know what? Let's go Pokeball. It's practically down to one health as it is. Yep, there we go. Alright, Con of the Paris. Let's see. I do need to heal Pony's paralysis. Oh wait, no, it automatically heals. Oh, that's good. Anyway, there's the campfire. Kind of where there's four stumps, and yeah, there's only three misfortunes. It's burnout campfire, somebody must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. And there they are. There's only one reason people go poking around around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I am the eldest of the three, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Though you thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. 
I am the mill sister. I'm the one clover you can't pluck. Heads I win and tails you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I am the youngest of the three sisters, coin. But I'm definitely not your good luck piece. We are the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. So yes, about who they're related to. I believe uh, Coin on the right is related to uh, Saturn, which is another commander of Team Galactic. On the left, Clover is related to Candace, the Ice-type gym leader of Diamond and Pearl. And Bertha, I believe, actually has two... No, wait. Uh, Charm in the middle has two ancestors, actually. She's more related to Bertha because of her gray hair, but she also has the same hairstyle as Agatha, which is both are members of the Elite Four, where Bertha is the Elite Four in Diamond and Pearl, and Agatha is uh, red and blue. Anyway, coin. Let me handle the sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. Come on, Toxic Rogue. Let's douse this fool in poison. Alright, so the youngest of the three sisters. The ancestor of Saturn, who also uses a Toxic Rogue. And also, it's raining, so water will be boosted. And fire... Or it will be weakened. Right, let's go double hit. Speed gear! Not a hard-hitting stance. Venoshock. Now, I believe Venoshock would have done more damage if Ponyta was poisoned. Right, let's go... Flame Wheel! Ah, boy. Right, let's go Dust Ox. Because I believe Toxicroak is a poison fighter. Which means, Confusion will do four times the damage. Power Gear! There we go. Battle decided. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the Galaxy team. How are you so strong? <laughs> hmm. The Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the plastic fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Got the wall fragment! Fragment of those once part of a stone panel in the Celestian ruins. There's markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of writing. The weird writing on us may think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. It turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? We'll set you on this path. I wanted to help Calibo. Goodness, how selfless of you. To go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the Galaxy team. Which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us? Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, it didn't let me automatically travel to the Celestion Ruins. Guess I just gotta walk all the way back. Got another cricket tune. All right, nice work. Get some more resources too. Also, I do want to try something out uh, with Carve and Navine, because I know it's a grass and flying type, which means since uh, Luxray has Ice Fang, 
It can do four times the damage, and of course it turns around. Use absorb. Go Pokeball! Alright, caught a Carnivine. Well, it's two Carnivines. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. I'll just use you. Good work. Very good work indeed, Ray. Got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm well aware of Calibus' reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. She's given the pro clan all she ever has since she was young. She lived a prime years here in Sui, trusting in the guidance of all my Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. Rather, I think she simply just loves the pro clan very, very much. I mean, I, I do hope you're able to calm her some of this frenzy. Raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Calibre, country stone fragment back. And she got a bee barrel with her. Oh, so you kind of bother me again? Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. Those three bandits. What? You even intrigued the fragment of all those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm Ursaluna, hmm? If possible. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And now it's complete. And there we go, good as new. Okay, this is unknown language, so let me see if I can translate. All lives touch other. All lives touch other lives to create something. All lives touch other lives to create something. Create something anew and alive. Let me read what it says. Yeah, and then she translates it right there. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other. Like how you helped me retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is all my Sinnoh's guidance. What is your name then, boy? I see, Ray. Please lend me your strength, so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle. That's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursaluna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Alright. So we now have our next story mission to head to Sludge Mound to calm Ursaluna. Which is another noble Pokemon. But I think we're going to go ahead and head back to the Myerlands camp real quick. Just to go ahead and give a little bit of report. Yeah, you can also see the space-time rift forming over there. Err, uh, Ray, I think you got something stuck to you. What? Oh! Oh yeah, this thing. That's one of the unknowns. Specifically, unknown A. Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it. Well, I did mention that there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Celestion ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually a likeness of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Ray. Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. 
And what was the, and was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that can mean. By pressing the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols found in these notes, you can try to find all 28 forms of unknown hiding throughout the region. Zenda possesses a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon, so you can't battle them. But you can track them down and catch them. If you can. So I'll show you what that means. So if you're in your Pokedex, press the Y button, and now you will see these. So every single one of these contains like a clue as to where to find that certain unknown. Now I believe, how many forms there are, there are 28 total, from A to Z, and then there's exclamation point and question mark. So yeah, so to find unknown A, it says, within the settlement where time rules. So that's talking about the uh, Diamond Clan. So unknown A is somewhere in the Diamond Clan settlement. But we'll be going there later on in the Crimson Marlins. For now, we're going to report our data, and then I think then we'll go ahead and call this an episode. Okay. So there's another survey report. Okay, made some new observations. Let's see. Okay, got some Pikachu. Okay, so Carnivine is two, Parasect is three, Badu is four. All right. So we get 208 points. So we can get a few more points, which I think we'll be focusing more on getting more species in the next episode. Uh, we'll continue the expedition in the next episode. So next time on Pokemon Legends Arceus. We are going to be going to try to find some new species that are hiding out here in the Crimson Mirelands. And we are going to be heading to Sludge Mound to go and try to calm Ursaluna. See you guys on the other side. So